Hello everyone, this is Umair Hassan and uh, uh, today uh, I am going to solve uh, exercise uh, 2C from D1 uh, uh, 7th edition. Uh, starting from question number 1, uh, you can uh, subscribe to the channel, you can have videos on D1, D2, D3, D4 and apologies for being late, this week was quite busy. So starting from question number 1, so uh, I will be uploading the lectures on regular basis, uh, I hope so. So question number 1 from exercise 2C says, find the value of each of the following, part A is 3 multiplied by minus 9. So first of all open the brackets, uh, well this is minus 9 into 3 is minus 27, part number B is minus 8 multiply by 4, this 4 is positive, it, this 8 is negative, so minus 8 into 4 is minus 32, part number C that is minus 7 into minus 5. Well, minus 7 into minus 5 minus multiply by minus will give you plus 7 into 5 is 35. Part number D says minus 1 into minus 6. Well, minus 1 multiply by minus 6 will give you plus 6. Part number E says minus 2 into minus 7. Well, Minus 7 is inside the bracket, minus 2 is outside the bracket, basically they are being multiplied. Minus into minus will become plus, 7 into 2 will become 14. And part number F is minus 6 into 0 is 0. Question number 2 from the same exercise and this is evaluate each of the following. Evaluate each of the following and part number A is minus 21 divided by 7. So first of all write them in deviant form minus 21 over 7 that is minus 3. Part number B is 16 divided by minus 2. Well, you can write it as 16 over minus 2. So, 2 1 time 2, 2 8 times 16, that is equal to minus 8. Part number C, and that says minus 8 divided by minus 2. You can write it as minus 8 over minus 2. Minus and minus will be cancelled. 2 and 8 will be cancelled. So, answer is 4. Next one is part number D that is minus 14 divided by 2 cancel them the answer is minus 7 to 7 times 14 part number e says 15 over minus 5 well these are quite simple questions i know so the answer is minus 3 but i have to continue the solution of d1 so i have to solve all the questions whether they are easy or whether they are difficult part number f is minus 18 over minus 3 minus and minus will be cancelled 3 and 18 will be cancelled answer is 6 this is solution of question number 2 so question number 3 from the same exercise 2c of d1 uh, that is find square root of each of the following you need to find the square root of each of the following. This is quite interesting. We need to find the square root of each of the following. So let's find the square root and uh, starting from part number A of this one, question number 3, 81. Need to find the square root of 81. Well, 81. Uh, you can do prime factorization of 81, 3 2 times 6, 3 7 times 21, 3 9 times 27, 3 3 times 9, 3 1 times 3. So actually 81 is 3 power 1 2 3 4. So square root of 81 will be 3 power 4 and when you will uh, basically when you will uh, replace this index notation 
in in exponent form that will be 1 over 2. This is uh, 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 in root form, this is in square root form and you will uh, remove this square root, the power will be uh, 1 by 2. So, I have written this to square root in exponential form, uh, when you will remove square root, uh, its exponential form will be 1 by 2. So, actually this 4 and 2 will be cancelled, so 3 power 2 that is 9 is the answer for the square root of this part. The next is the next is part number B. You have to find square root of 16. Do prime factorization of 16 to 8 times 16 to 4 times 8 to 2 times 4 to 1 times 2. So 16 is basically 2 power 4. You take square root on both the sides. And when I will convert this uh, radical form in exponential form, I will write it as 1 by 2. So, 2 1 times 2 to 2 times 4 to 2 square is basically equal to 4. The third part is square root of 25 and the fourth part is square root of 100. Square root of 25 that is uh, 25 first of all do prime factorization of 25 5 5 times 25 5 1 times 5. So, 25 the square root can be written as 5 square 5 into 5 is 5 square square and square root will be cancelled so your answer is 5 and part number d is find square root of 100 so actually you can do prime factorization of 100 to 5 times 10 to 25 times 50 5 5 times 25 5 1 times 5 so actually 100 is basically in index notation that is 2 square into 5 square take a square root squares and square root will be cancelled to 2 into 5 that is 10 is square root of 100. So, this is solution up to question number 3 of exercise 2 cd 7th edition. Uh, so, keep watching and uh, subscribe the channel. Thank you so much.